Hello there beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's look is a, what is this? It's a brown cut crease with a green glitter wing eyeliner. I saw the look on Instagram. I just screenshotted it. So I don't know like what who the artist is. So I'll either link it down below or if I find it, I'll just have it here at the bottom. Um, well, that's all. So if you like to see this look, then keep on watching. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm just going in with um, witch hazel to just clean my face before I put on my primer. And for the primer that I'm putting on my face is the NYX Hydro Touch Primer. I'm just rubbing that in my face. Sometimes I'll use my hands, but I like to use a brush, you know, to feel bougie. And yeah, I'm just rubbing that in my face, under my eyes. It's honestly like a good primer. It's really hydrating. <music> Okay, next I'll be going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in my T-Zone. Alright, next will be Brows. <laughs> Time for... I don't know what I just said. I'm just starting off with the beginning of my brows, then going to the end of my brows. I kind of did it sloppy because I was like being lazy. But, you know, that's what concealer is for. That is what concealer is for. To fix our mistakes. And I'm just blending it out. I did the other one off camera. And I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer to conceal my eyebrows. You see how nasty it was looking? And then that concealer came in and like sculpted it. Beautiful. Now I'm just going in with a little bit more concealer. And just blending that out. Um, I went in with a different brush. To like really like buff it out. Listen, I don't even know why because I went over that with more concealer anyways. But whatever. And here I did one eye off camera. And I'm applying that same LA Girl concealer in the color Fawn as my eyeshadow base. I'm just pack, pack, packing that thing on. Then I'm going in with that brown color from the Zulu palette, Juvia's Place Zulu palette, and I'm just packing on that that brown color. It's honestly like a brownish copper color, and I'm just patting it in. I'm not rubbing it. I'm not swiping it. I'm making sure I'm patting it in so I could set that concealer. And I'm going in with that color from my brow bone so that I could go back in and blend it Be nice and smooth. It honestly makes it a lot easier instead of like trying to blend with concealer on your brow bone, setting that first. And I'm using that Master Conceal for a Maybelline to carve out my, um, to cut my crease. And I'm using that brush, that tiny little brush, because like all my other brushes, like they just don't be doing what I needed to do for like to cut my crease. Like I need to invest in like a crease brush to like cut that crease, honestly. And here I'm just packing on more concealer with a different brush. Pack, 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 packing it on. And I use my finger to blend it out. Then I go in with that brown shade called Sparks Fly on the 
outer corner just to make a V and then I go over with that brown color from the Zulu palette. And now I'm taking these two colors to set my cut crease. And I'm just going in and packing that on. Making sure that I get like really close. And going once again with that brown shade to just blend those two colors together. And now I'm going to start the wing. I'm using the same concealer that I cut my crease with. And y'all, I could not for the life of me do this on camera. So I had to come off. And, you know, try a little something. And then I came back on just to go over that because it kind of set a little. So I just went over that again. And now I'm going in with that greenish color, that turquoise color. And this other green from the... 35 OM palette and first I'm going in with that turquoise color and I accidentally like closed my eyes and I got that concealer on my crease if it's bothering anybody sorry I go back in and I fix that yeah so I'm just packing that on Just continue to back that on here I am fixing that little mistake and now I'm going over it with that green color because I didn't want it to be turquoise I wanted to be actual green and I didn't have the color so I kind of just you know made my own concoction and then I went in with that gold glitter from NYX and I'm just patting that in. I went on the back of my hand and I tapped it off first. And then I'm just tapping it on. I'm not swiping it. So I could have the little chunks of glitter. And then I went back in on the other side to like add more. Because I went ham on like that eye. So now I'm going in with my Kish glue. It's the black one. And I had to do my lashes off camera because I could not for the life of me, honestly. And I know my eyelashes was looking a little wonky. So I'm going in with some mascara so I could like press those two together so you won't see my lashes. And then I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs eyeliner. It's a black one. I, I forgot the name. I'll link it down below. I'm trying to fix my lashes layout because hmm, it was looking a little crazy. I'm feeling myself because it honestly came out really good. I seen it on Instagram and I was just like, hmm, let me try this. And I just went in with my Maybelline Set and Smooth Foundation on the back of my hand. And I'm just buffing it in. That next brush is honestly like the best. I'll link up down below for you guys. If you guys want to purchase it and I'm just going underneath my neck and like bringing it down my neck because like that part like my neck is darker than my face and my chest my chest is like the lightest part and I'll say like my face is like darker than my chest and then my neck is the darkest then I went with a little bit more and put the rest of it on my forehead and I continue to blend that out that's the reason why I like that brush because to get in between like my brow and like my hairline like I usually have to like pinch the brush but I don't have to do that for that so that's why I like it and now I'm just going in to conceal the top of my eyebrows because I didn't do that from the start so now I'm going in and I'm doing that and I'm buffing that out because I'm not trying to have lines and creases in my foundation. Nope. Now I'm going in with that LA Girl Concealer in Fawn once again. And I'm using the same brush. And I'm putting that underneath my eyes. I'm loading up that concealer, y'all. Like, I went in. I actually took a little, you know, a lot. But... I didn't go in with a, a second like round of concealer because I didn't have to. Usually I do that, so I guess it was enough. And I'm just 
fixing my eyeshadow, just cutting that. And I'm blending it out. I'm blending the edges out first and like my chin and my upper lip and my nose area and my forehead first. And like the edges of my concealer underneath my eyes. And then I go in and then I blend out like right close to my under eye. And here I am blended out. And I went in with my black radiance setting powder in the color banana and i'm just setting my under eye i'm just setting right there underneath my eye so i won't crease and then afterwards i'm gonna go in with my concealer there it is in the color rich 50 by glossier And I had set the rest of my face. I didn't get that. Sorry, guys. And now I'm just going in with my contour. And I'm contouring the perimeter of my face and my nose. And I'm going in with that orange and that pink shade from the Zulu palette. And I'm using that as my blush. But mostly the orange color. Because I felt like it would go out, go better with my eyes. I'm going back in with that same brown shade from the Zulu palette. And I'm just putting that on my bottom lash line. That's all. I didn't use any other shade. That was it. Now I'm going in with my 3-in-1 e.l.f. mascara to set the brows in case of any powder got inside there. This is honestly like the best thing like I ever used like on my brows. I don't use like brow gel or anything and now I'm going in with my black radiant ginger snap highlighter and I'm just highlighting away baby upper lip forehead cheeks nose everything and now I'm going in with mascara and I accidentally like made a mess already and I go in after and I take that out when it dries And now I'm going in with that same ginger snap color to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. But I didn't like it, so I went in with the e.l.f. one instead. Just go over that. And I also went on my uh, brow bone with that. Next, I shall be going in with my brown Clinique liner. Any brown liner will work. I just lined my lips and afterwards I went in with my NYX Butter Gloss and I believe it's something biscuit. I forgot. It'll be like that will be long. And then I'm setting like the like smile line because man it'd be creasing on me. And now I'm taking out that clip from my hair. Yeah, I'm seeing what I'm about to do to this thing. And here I am back with a little with a little fluffed out. And I put a pin because it kind of stretched out too much. Like my bang area. And I'm setting my face with the NYX setting spray. And I'm putting my little beauty marks or whatever. You know. The one on like under my eye is my own. Like a real one. And like those other two like are not it. So. And that is all for the look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Here's my little slow moment.